So, ladies and gents, how much do you need to trade stocks and why I returned to trading stocks directly? Ever since I released a video on Instagram sharing my results for the day, um, I had a lot of questions. A lot of people asked me how much you need to start trading, how much you can make, and the most importantly, why I returned to stocks. So I want to answer these questions because in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be very technical. You're going to see a lot of live trading sessions here, and a lot of strategies shared. So I want to get this easy part out the way uh, because I won't have time to answer such questions. So guys, I return to trading stocks directly because number one, they're easy to predict, right? There is no messing about and most importantly, the prices you see in the market is the prices you're going to be trading. Unlike market makers, usually brokers will have their own assets and they'll put their own prices. So whatever you're trading right now, whether it's Forex, whether indices, usually the platform has already put their spread or they've actually... Uh, are giving you the prices directly and, and the prices are not coming from the market. The slightest slip can make a huge difference in your trade. Okay, so with stocks, I know what I'm trading. I know these prices are coming directly from the market and I know there's zero chance of messing about. Okay, so that's one thing about stocks other than they're easier to predict. They're easier to trade, matter of fact. I make one to two trades a day and I'm finished with my day because I made enough uh, because I can actually invest heavily in one trade knowing that if I trade high cap stocks, because that's all I trade, not penny stocks, high cap stocks. Knowing if I trade high cap stocks, I can put all my money in one trade because I can manage risk and I know this stock won't just suddenly dump on me or gap up if I'm uh, in a short position. So everything is within a managed environment when I'm trading high cap stocks. And that's one thing I think uh, attracted me back to the markets after giving up on indices. And you know why, of course, because I've shared a couple of videos in the past, but stocks is the thing for me. And I've shared a lot of game plans the last couple of months and a lot of you on the inside on the chat room, you've seen that we've hit 90%, if not more, of the game plans that I share. Okay, or the trades. So that's uh, one reason, guys, of, of actually coming back to stocks directly. Now, how much do you need? I made this reel on Instagram recently, specifically so I can actually share it with you and tell you, well, this is why trading stocks is better than trading indices or Forex or anything else. Because I can trade the most secure stock and come out profitable. For example, all I've been trading was Tesla and I did dabble with a lot of stocks like Hawaiian Electric because there was opportunities. You know, I was able to pull 2,300 on a 10,000 investment. Now you can see I put 10,000 um, deposit, came out on the same day with 12,300 withdrawal in dollars. So 2,300 profit. Now, one thing for sure, a lot of you watching, you're probably under PDT rule. You're under PDT rule, but I actually put myself under PD, uh, PDT rule. And I forced myself under PDT rule, even though I'm not even from the US. I do that because I understand the more I trade, the more I expose myself to the markets. So I don't want to trade every day, which is why I ended up pulling all the capital after depositing 10,000, I pulled all the capital because I know I only trade when I see opportunities and when I feel good. Because I need to feel good, be in a good state of mind when I'm trading. And I need to have this, you know, I, can, I guess you could say I'm bored, right? I don't have all these things coming at me on the day. I need to be clear up here and in my life. So that's why I pulled the money and I pulled the profits. I go enjoy the profits. And when I'm ready, I go again. Okay, so that's how I approach the markets nowadays. But I don't, of course, do it with 10,000. I'm doing it with another account. This is just to showcase for Instagram that actual uh, example. So you could say $10,000 is good enough. But because I'm actually using leverage in this case, I was using 1 to uh, 10, I believe, with 1 to 20 leverage trading high cap stocks, Tesla and whatnot. And I was only trading 100 shares to 150. And you can see my average return is about 150 or 200 to 300. And I'll show the statement here. So this is ideally how much you want to be uh, trading with 10 to 20,000. Okay. And even if you're under PDT, if even if you're in the US, 
you know, 25,000 to 20,000 can generate you that 2,000, 1,000 a day. And you, of course, need to be a little bit of experienced in the market to be able to generate that. But for those of you who are not experienced, make a 1% on your account's capital, that's pretty good. Right? But it all depends on how experienced you are. If you have two years experience, then you're probably pulling 5% a day. Okay? Now, I was able to pull 20% on a 10,000 account in just one day. So that's one thing for sure, guys, is that trading stocks is safer. You, you know what's going to happen. It's more predictable. And you don't uh, get screwed around by the platforms and the brokers because you're getting direct market access and you know exactly the price you're going to be trading. So hopefully we've answered these two questions, why I came back to stocks and how much you need. Okay, and um, in the next couple of videos, we're going to release some live trading sessions and you're going to see some live trades here on YouTube. So you make sure you smash that like button, you subscribe to this channel, you follow me on other social media channels like Instagram and Twitter. That's me done, guys. I'll see you very soon. I appreciate you for watching and peace and love as always. Bye.